When everything was complete and we first walked in the door, it was terrific. I was just delighted that the vision that we had had been properly done. You step in the door and the first thing you see is that view of the lake. That's what we wanted. And you walk around the corner and the pine, the stone, it was like getting a, a warm hug from an old friend. We're the Taylors. And this is our dream cottage. The property here has been in our family for about 65 years now. Uh, my dad uh, bought this property in the mid-1950s, and at that time, uh, the original camp that was on the site had no electricity, no running water. For many, many decades, uh, when we were growing up, myself and my uh, five brothers and sisters, we enjoyed being out here at the lake uh, all the time. And then as we grew older and were married and brought our, uh, our children up, we were able to come here and visit with my parents and the grandchildren got to know uh, their grandparents well over, over the decades. We knew that the old camp had seen probably its best days, so the plan was to demolish it, rebuild, and try to do something that suited the uh, property. And have some place where we could just walk in the door and enjoy it. When I first met Stephen and Eva, they knew the feeling they wanted from their cottage, but they weren't quite sure how to get it. They had an idea in mind of how they wanted it to be used going forward and what they wanted to leave for their family. And, uh, and then we just had to find a design that would suit what they wanted to do. I think it was at the Cottage Life Show where we met uh, Jeremy and he showed us the original design book that uh, was a great uh, asset, a tool. We looked through the book and found a couple of uh, sort of off the shelf uh, designs that incorporated many of the features that we had been thinking about or looking for uh, uh, in our plans or at least in our mind. The really nice thing about it is that they can pick features uh, from different models. They can say, well, I like the great room of this model, I like the layout of this model, uh, the look of it on, on this other one, and then we can pull all those elements together and come up with a, a modified design for them. The experience of working with Beaver Homes was excellent. So we actually spent a lot of time before we ever started the building process, making sure that, first of all, how the building sat on the site was proper. We had to, to make sure we had the foundation correct for doing the walkout. So it's really nice uh, using tools like the Drawing Conclusions booklet that helps us go through a checklist of what's important for them, making sure they have enough room for the master bedroom and suite, make sure the kitchen's large enough. There were some site-specific things that we had to deal with. Uh, they have a, a steep lot, uh, there was an existing cottage that needed to be torn down um, and they didn't have uh, a lot of flat ground between the, the cottage location and the lake. It was also a great collaboration between the Beaver Homes rep uh, who handled the design and the supply of the materials and our builder Kevin Rady who uh, actually was responsible for the construction. Trust is the most important thing when it comes to building a house for someone, um, especially most of these houses are, you know, your retirement homes. One of the challenges of the construction process is that uh, Eva and I were 400 kilometers south of here in, in Toronto and not really readily available to uh, supervise, so we were 100% in uh, the hands of Jeremy and Kevin and the communication though was great. What was needed in the beginning was a really strong vision about the design and once we had that in place about the materials, the pine on the walls and the ceiling, the stone for the fireplace, the kind of kitchen design that we wanted, once we'd made those big decisions then everything fell into place naturally and we could trust the people who were on site to work with what they had on hand and make the right decisions going forward. Being so close to nature and being able to retreat from the world is a wonderful feeling. This location is really a very good example of Northern Ontario and sort of the hidden jewel that's around uh, Sudbury. The lake itself is, is beautiful, really is pristine water, pristine forests and, and hills. So being in, in the home as it, as it turned out is terrifically satisfying. It feels like we've done justice to all the memories that we've had here for many, many years. And we both preserved 
the history going backwards, but also hopefully are creating a whole new group of memories for our, uh, our own family. So very, very pleased with the finished result.